Hi guys, I am back to fill another film another rewind plan with me or a memory keeping plan with me. I am in um this is the personal planner I've been using to like keep my extras of things in, but with the way I've been going and like being super lazy and getting a new a new planner for my 2018 rewind inserts, it might just be my planner. It's just a recollections planner from Michaels. I am in so much crafting inserts week on two page vertical and I am rewind planning for the week that was January 29th through February 4th. To plan for this week, I am using a kit from a shop I've never um, done used a kit with, from before. It's called Black Heart Creation. I follow her on Instagram, and I saw um, it was back like I think near Christmas. She was having a fifty percent off sale. I talked about this a little bit in my January plan or er, haul, but I one hundred percent don't remember ordering this kit. Uh, I was very drunk for most of winter break. Uh, no judgments, but I ended up apparently buying this. So. Oh well, uh, I'm pretty sure this is her full kit. So first of all, this is on glossy paper. Um, so the front page here, we have this double box seam that I won't be using, and I don't really know what I will do with I was thinking of using it as a die cut maybe somewhere. Um, I'm not really sure if this is in the correct order, but all of her kits have kind of like a weird format to me. I mean, they have all the like pieces, I think, of a kit that I would need, but it just, like all the pages are like weirdly different sized, and everything's on a different page than I'm used to. It could just be because it's a new shock to me, but it's making me feel a little bit un like at like uneasy. So it's gonna take me a bit to get through this plan with me, just because just for that reason alone. So I know this is actually out of order because this is not the front page, but here we have six uh, squared off, yeah, squared off boxes and six to do boxes. We've got some checklists here on the side. We've got some headers, some little things, and three checklists or check boxes. We have glitter headers that I'm gonna set aside so I remember them. More checklists, date covers, habit trackers, to-do boxes, these tiny, are they just flags? Yeah, they're just tiny flags, washi, or pattern washi. Then we have the full boxes, which are really pretty. Um, I'm using this as my transition into February, and I really like it. And then we have our bottom washi, um, some more checklists, and this is just like empty space. So there's no deco with this kit, which is a bit of a bummer. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so I'm filming this super late. So usually these go up on the Saturday after the week that I'm like rewind planning for. But right now it is the, the Sunday. Um, I've just been super behind on videos. Last week, I think, like the week before this, I got behind. No, no, so the week I'm currently planning for, my dad came to town. That's what happened. And I got super behind in getting videos up. And I just keep pushing things back. Like, ugh, it's a nightmare. Um, and it's not helping. I'm participating in a huge sale um, uh, on the 15th. So I've been, like, prepping for that. Um, and I'm really excited for it because it's, like, the biggest sale I've ever done as a shop. Um, cause I'm doing half off the whole shop plus some like new releases just for that sale and I'm just kind of feeling overwhelmed. And I've said this before in most of my recent plan with me's or rewind plan with me's that, uh, 2018 is like punching me in the face. I've had a pretty <laughs> rough 2018 so far. Um, yeah. Uh, in these inserts and like the rewind planning inserts, I'm also behind so, um, Obviously, you know, like, I'm gonna get this video up late since it was supposed to go up yesterday, but beyond that, I also bought monthly inserts from So Much Crafting, and I meant to do, like, a overview, like, monthly memories thing, and I have not filmed that yet, so hopefully I can get one done for January. I don't know if I'll be able to upload that on my YouTube channel, sorry about that, but hopefully we can get the February one uploaded. Okay, I did not cut this very well. I'm gonna just shut off the camera and cut and quiet for a second because it's really hard to cut glossy stickers. Okay, so I went ahead and trimmed those and while I was at it, I hole punched them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and we will start over here. So I decided for this week not to use the glitter headers, um, mostly because I have a lot of plans and they take up space. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just save these glitter headers and let's pull out the full boxes. So Monday was not an entirely busy day. I know I'm not using this full box just because it's a little empty. Um, I'm gonna use her in like the quote box. I don't know what to call that section. So let's go with actually these. 
So on Monday, uh, I want to start off by putting in that I had, um, oh shoot, where's my pile of stickers? Okay, there they are. Um, I had this nightmare, um, for work, I'm in charge of, I'm in charge of, so for work, I'm in charge of these, uh, like this paperwork, and usually it doesn't get to me, but on this day, it just got to me, um, like pretty bad, and it was insane. So to mark that, I brought out from Once More With Love, I've used these to mark them also in my, like, normal, like, everyday Erin Condren. They're just, like, these busy paperwork munchkins that I love, so I'm gonna put this near the top, and then I'm going to grab a, um heart little thing just to put right under it to explain what that is for uh, then at the bottom I had a meeting um, for actually a work meeting that afternoon but it was a normal work meeting like uh, people from I, I'm on this committee so we have like meetings every month every two weeks it depends so to mark that I pulled out these meeting stickers that I made forever ago just for myself um, I am out of my coffee, well, I have one left, but I'm basically out of my Coffee Monsters Co. meeting stickers, and I just need to order more. So I'm going to put in one of these that I made before I found those meeting stickers. But if you know of a shop that sells, like, meeting-ish, appointment-ish stickers that aren't, like, script words, like, I need more. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy more if you point me in the right direction. Even if it's your shop. If you're out there and you make those, let me know. But that's all that really happened on Monday. I went home and I just did a lot, a lot, a lot of cleaning. Um, that was another big theme this week, just tons of cleaning. On Tuesday, I'm going to put in the pizza one because I did have some pizza on this day. Um, so the big thing is, so in the evening we had this huge event at, well it wasn't at work, but it was like an evening thing. We had volunteers coming in to participate and we were, I can't explain it without explaining my job, but uh, that's to mark that. But before that, um, all, I had everyone at work basically have to stay super duper late um, to help me for, prepare for that. So um, in like between that time where it was like, alright, we're done prepping. Um, but, uh, we don't have to be there yet. We went and we got, uh, tacos and marks at a place nearby that had $2 tacos. So I just cut down the checklist because she doesn't have a lot of half boxes and I don't want to use them up. So I brought two stickers out to mark tacos and marks. The first one was this fast food thing from, uh, Coffee Monsters Co. There's just tacos on here. So I'm going to put that in. And then we had marks and I don't have stickers to mark marks, but I thought these would suffice they're from franny lamb stickers they are um transparent uh franny lamb stickers is another shop i need to make a purchase from but anyway so we have tacos and margs and then we had um this event so basically in this event we were relying on this third party vendor that had a program we were using and um it was supposed to be like instantaneous we would do a thing and our customers would receive it instantaneously and we were doing like a giant not even a test of it we did the test of this uh, back like two three weeks ago and we like this was like th this is the show time the company messed up um, and instead of the customers getting things instantaneously there was like an hour hour and a half lag which is not good so we lost a lot of credibility amongst our customers and I was pissed to hell so to mark that I have from once more with love these anger stickers so I'm gonna use the one that's yelling it is huge the sticker but it's the only one I got left another shop I need to make an order from so that was my Tuesday I didn't get home until like a, between 11 no it was it was closer to midnight I didn't get home because I we had to sit down and do like a post-mortem review of everything which involved a lot of beer um but that was my Tuesday uh Wednesday you know what I am going to use this box I said I wasn't going to because the rest of these are too freaking happy Wednesday was a crappy day so let me stick this in um so the first thing to mark on Wednesday is that company that like screw sorry that was my pen rolling but the first thing that happened on this day was that company that screwed up um i sent them an angry email late in the evening and i was like uh we're gonna terminate our contract unless you give us a call first thing in the morning and you explain what the hell happened um i don't yell much i am uh one of the people in like a like the most customer service role of any of the directors i don't yell Okay, that's just one of my rules in dealing with people because it makes everything worse. But I yelled, and I yelled. 
So to mark that, I have from the Coffee Monsters Co. these customer service stickers. I'm going to use the small version of this guy. So, um, in case you were wondering, even though I'm being very vague about it, basically they had an issue um, on their server and they put through an update on a date that they knew we were doing, um, you know, like, they put in an update on a day they knew we were doing a huge project with it. They say it'll never happen again. You know what? I, I don't forgive them, but my boss forgives them and she makes the decisions. So other than that, I had like a ton of work to do on this day because like I had a ton. So this entire week is just work basically other than the weekend. So Monday I had this like fiasco with getting all of this, like this paperwork done, meaning I spent all of Monday doing paperwork. So I had to push like my actual work to Tuesday, but all of Tuesday I was prepping for this event. So Wednesday was just a lot of catch up, um, which is not, not great. Um, so that that was not fun. I did have a meeting um, on this day. I'm only marking it because the person I was meeting with, uh, I just really like him. Um, he's just somebody within the company I really respect. So to mark that, I am using my very last Coffee Monsters Co. meeting sticker. I think this is what's going to push me, like, as soon as I'm done here to go through my entire stash of Coffee Monsters Co. stickers and put in just, like, a big old order. And then the last thing I'm marking on this day, which I am going to just use, let's do green, I haven't done a lot of green, um, is I went home, uh, I left work at a normal time even though I had a ton of work to do, and I did a lot of cleaning. My dad arrived this weekend and I wanted my apartment to be shiny and clean. So to mark that, I am pulling out, these are from my shop, these are my character Abby, she is sweeping, I just thought she looked really cute and fabulous, and that's how I want to look when I'm cleaning, even though I know I look like a mess. That is so far the first half of the mug week. Um, this is a lot of Coffee Monsters Co. stickers. Other than these two, this is, oh, and I guess this guy isn't. Lots of Coffee Monsters Co. and one, Once More with Love, which is kind of the theme of most of my rewinds. Let's grab the other inserts. Okay, Thursday. Let's put, let's put the candy hearts. I really like her glossy paper. Um, I'm, like 99% sure it's like the online label stuff, which is like great quality and it's easy to manage. So big fan, big fan. So Thursday, uh, we're gonna start off with my rent was due. Um, I was gonna use like a bill due sticker from the kit, um, but she doesn't have those in this format. I'm pretty sure she's reformatted from what I've seen on Insta. But anyway, I'm trying to figure out what I wanna use to mark that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these to-do stickers. I know it's a little large. I wish you had smaller labels, like something between um, a little thing and this big one. So to mark having to go pay rent, uh, I have from the Coffee Monsters Co. again, these bill paying emojis. I'm gonna use this guy right here. Mm. The electric one. I want more, like an entire sheet of this guy. I'll just use the credit card one because I don't have a credit card bill. And I don't even pay this bill with a credit card. They only accept checks, like, physical checks, um, which whatever, I knew that going in. Um, then I am going to use a little thing to mark, um, I had a meeting, it wasn't really a meeting meeting, it was a Instagram meeting, which is the first time I've had one of these. Uh, I talked about this before, but I'm participating in the monthly planner madness sale, um, which is really exciting, I'm putting my entire shop 50% off, so that was like the first time all of the shops were in like an Instagram uh, group message just to talk about like how things will go, some rules, some don'ts, some do's, and all that kind of stuff. So um, that happened Thursday night, and it was, I thought it was a little weird, but whatever. Um, and then something happened at work. Um, I can't tell you what, because it's work related, but I'm just going to put in a half box and just write it in because I couldn't think of a character sticker to use, and I didn't really, there's no icons with this kit. Uh, so that was Thursday. Um, in case you haven't noticed, my life revolves around work. Uh, for Friday, I'm putting in this love, love, love full box because nothing really happened, or not nothing really happened. A lot happened on this day, and it's all going to get covered up. So, I'm going to start with putting down a to-do box to mark that my March releases went live on this day. All those kits are still available if you're interested, but the coupon code has expired. Um... So they were meant to go up a little bit earlier in the week, but I was uh, pretty busy in the start of the week and didn't finish uh, getting that final kit just perfect, and I'm glad I waited to release them because I was thinking, you know, just cut the last 
uh, collection out of it and just release three but the last one was exactly what I needed to add to it so I don't really have any like sale or like Etsy stickers I think I need to make just like the the seal that I put on my stickers Ugh, I don't, I don't rem I'm not sure where I have one nearby but make like those as icons for myself so I can mark when I'm doing things for my shop but since it's a sale um like I did and like put things up I thought using these um, shopping girl stickers for my shop would be nice. This is the old, old, old format from like more than a year ago, um, and I'm just trying to use these up. Uh, next, I did all of my accounting for February. Ooh, so exciting. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, it's it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but. I need to do it at the end of every month for the shop, that is. It's basically, um, so there's some fees that Etsy charges you per transaction and, like, takes it out of the income you get for the transaction, and then there's some things that they, like, put on your bill, and basically at the end of every month I have to take all the ones from, from Etsy that they charge on each transaction and upload them into my accounting software. Um, I use, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's like Wave Accounting. It's this online um, thing for the shop. I like it because it automatically pulls in all of my orders, like the, the, the pricing, so I can easily do that and I put in my expenses and at the end of every month I just try to balance it out. So I did that on um, this day. It didn't take very long because I uh, try to every, um, every week to keep up with it as best as I can. Um, just so it doesn't overwhelm me at the end of the month. So I am going to pull out my multicolor to mark this just because I there's just really nothing in this kit that's small enough. So these are from my spring multicolor. Yeah, these will work. These are my um, appointment labels. So I'm going to stick in this in here. And up until now, I've only used my Abby like character sticker on the computer to mark work. But I feel like that's limiting myself, um, and I need computer stickers all the time, so I'm just going to use her whenever I please. Um, so that is to mark doing my accounting. I guess I could have done, like, a money sticker. Oh, well. Um, next, I'm going to mark that it was payday, uh, just, like, for work. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to put in a little thing. Ooh, actually, no, I'm not. All right, that didn't remove too bad. I keep forgetting... I have a character sticker to mark payday. So this is where I keep all of my character stickers from my shop. Uh, just in alphabetical order. So we're going to grab the payday ones. And put in one right there. I'll put these back later. Um, I'm not going to write anything in. I just wanted her to cover up where I pulled up some of the ink. Okay, so... Next, I am going to grab... Let's see what I can fit in here. I think I'm just going to grab... Yeah, let's see. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place. Mm, yeah, it'll fit. So this is the rest of the hard checklist of the I cut off the top two to use. So the first thing is my dad arrived. Um, he lives in a different country and he was here for business and he decided to come visit me. So to mark those, I'm using these Abby traveling stickers again for my shop. Um, I don't travel very often, so any excuse to use these beautiful ladies. Um, and then we went to dinner at some friend's place. It was great. I love when I don't have to cook. So I'm using these couple stickers to mark that. Um, because why not? Um, but that was about it. I convinced my boyfriend to come along as well. Although he is very awkward around um, my dad and everyone else in that group. Because um, he currently does not have a job. And I mean like he does fine. He has other sources of income and... It's not like a big strain on our relationship or anything, but my dad thinks that if anybody dating me should have a full-time job and can support me and everything, but I can support myself, kind of. Okay, so the weekend. <laughs> um, Saturday was a hectic day, so we're going to start off with the fact that I had two trainings I had to lead for work. The most I've ever had in a day is one, um, just because they're very draining for me, um, but I had to schedule two because they needed to both be on this day. So the first one was, so my trainings are four hours long, and it's just me talking for four hours. So my first one started at 8 in the morning and ended at noon, and then my second one started at 1, but the drive between the two trainings was 50 minutes, so I had to, like, leave at noon. And everyone always has extra questions, and I try to schedule those in. So, but it was just really cutting it close. Um, and then I'm not marking this down, but... Um, 
there on this day we also had to post um on instagram that loop giveaway we were doing for the monthly planner madness sale and i'm really excited to participate in it but with my training starting at one and the post having to go live at one and all of that i forgot until i got the messages and i quickly posted and i was like hey i just have to quickly do something i told everyone there that i had to um message something to my boss so they understood but like i tried to post it and i like tagged the wrong like next shop because her shop's name was Bows and Glitter, and I was typing in B-O-W-S, but her shop was B-O-W-Z, and it was a whole thing, and I, it just really stressed me out. Anyway, that second training was also rough. It was really hot in the room, and I just come from the cold on the outside, and I was anxious, and halfway through, my nose started bleeding. It's a thing that happens when I'm really, really stressed. <sighs> that morning was rough, but it was made all the better, so um, I turn off my phone when I do my trainings or else I get way too distracted and it's not fair to the people who show up, but when I open my phone back up, I had a ton of orders in my shop. Uh, so for the weekend, I had a um, March releases 25% off sale, and between that and like all the new followers you get when you do like a loop giveaway, I had like the largest number of orders I've had in my shop at like a single time ever. Um, which I really loved, you know, as I was like doing the two hour drive home, I kept getting like the notifications of like another order. It made my heart so happy. So to mark that, I have from Once More With Love these uh, shop um, stickers, shopkeeper, Etsy shop sticker stickers. I don't know what they're called. I'm going to use that guy up there with, or that gal with all those stickers because it really did make my, my day a lot better. Um, and then in the evening, um, I went, sorry, I for, put these stickers away before I needed them. I went to dinner again with my dad and some friends. They drove like two hours um, and we like stayed, we closed down a restaurant that closes at 2 a.m. It was a lot of fun. Um, I haven't seen them in a while. So to mark that, I'm using again these couple emojis. I really need to figure out like better like dinner date with friends stickers, but that was it for Saturday. Whew. So Sunday, um, I did get to sleep in a little bit um, I did make that a requirement, but then my dad picked me up, and he picked up my boyfriend, and we drove to where my house is. If you don't know, I live currently in an apartment that's by work, but I own a house, or my parents own a house, and since they live out of the country, they've, like, given it over to me. Um, like, I mean, it is in my name, and, like, I'm the landlord for it, but I'm currently cleaning it out to get it ready for, um new tenants but it had some major issues with uh, its plumbing anyway first of all to mark that we drove to it I brought out these stickers from once or not once more the Franny lamb stickers I love them I love this shop I used to use them a ton um, so that's to mark driving there uh, before we went to the house um, my brother was in town his fiance now oh, I like that I can call her his fiance finally she lives there um, she like is finishing up um, a term with a research company um, so basically she's just super smart and is super cool I really like her um, we've been friends for now the whole time she's been they've been dating and now that they're engaged I'm just really excited about their whole wedding and her ring is amazing um, but anyway to mark going to get brunch together I'm gonna use these breakfast emojis from coffee monsters co so my brunch choice is usually like eggs and toast but when we got there their French toast smelled amazing so I got that there's not really French toast stickers on here, but I am going to use this munchkin right here. Not munchkin, emoji. I'll put him right there. It was really yummy. It's a new place I'd never been to before. Um, and after that, we went to go check on the house. My dad is very hard to please, and he was very disappointed in the state of the house, which basically means it wasn't... He expected it to be in better condition than when we bought it, which, like, I've replaced some flooring and done all of that, but come on, man. Um... Actually, I'm not going to post this here. I'm going to put, let's do this last half box. Um, it was very stressful is what I'm trying to say. He's judgmental, like going through your stuff. And then he's like, why aren't you taking this? And I'm like, because I don't need it. He's like, but you might need it. And I'm just like, dude, like I live in a tiny one bedroom apartment now. So to mark that, I'm putting in a, um, a munchkin. Um, and not to rag on my boyfriend, but like... He was not being very helpful. Like, you know, my dad was basically going room to room and, like, being like, why is there a mark right here? Be because it's a house we lived in. Like, the, the bookshelf that was up against that made a mark on there. And then instead of being, like, 
it's okay, we're getting this clean. My boyfriend was, like, pointing out other issues. He's like, I keep telling her to fix that. And I'm just like, dude, not helping. Um, he's apologized since profusely because somebody was not allowed to come over. Um, so then we did some Amazon shopping um, while we were stopped at a McDonald's to get some coffee. Um, I pulled out this multicolor for my shop, by the way. And um, we drove through a snowstorm, a mini snowstorm, to get home. And this day was actually the Super Bowl, and we completely forgot about it until we got to the restaurant. It was an amazing Thai food restaurant. And my dad was like, we can't eat here. There's nobody here on a Saturday night. This place has to be awful. And I'm like, um, I've been here before, and it's the best Thai food in town. And then he's like, yeah, it's the Super Bowl. We, we don't have a TV. And we're like, oh, no, that's fine. So to mark that, I'm going to use another Coffee Monsters Co. date emoji thing. I was so stressed out by the day and the drive there because my dad is not, he's lived in a country where it's really warm and driving through a snowstorm, it stressed me out. And at dinner, he kept bugging my boyfriend, asking him like personal questions and then doing like really judgmental stuff for me. So I like freaked out a bit and my nose started bleeding again and I had told him about that happening on Saturday and he was so concerned he was like do, you, do we need to go to the hospital and I'm just like it just happens like the cold weather doesn't help but it just happens anyway that is that half of the week <laughs> it was a very stressful week guys it was very stressful so I am not putting my work schedule up in this box because I didn't write it down every day I've been really bad about that just because um I'm not an hourly employee, so it's not like as huge of a deal for me to know every single hour I've worked. Sometimes I mark it, sometimes I don't. But this week it works out because I have a beautiful full box to put in. Then I'm going to grab, oh, isn't, I'm trying to figure out how her washi, okay. I'm going to grab this like party washi, it's the same as the side washi, and layer it up here. Um, so up here, I've been participating in a 52-week savings challenge. Um, I keep saying every week that, guys, it's not going to go past this week. But you know what? Um, I had some surprise income come in from a very, very successful new releases weekend. And um, my savings account, uh, my old savings account that was meant to be for, like, grad school, but I'm not going to grad school now, opened up. I'm doing fine on income. I will survive. It's not perfect yet. There's still a lot of bumps in the road um, in terms of like paying for bills on the house, but I am still going strong with the 52 week savings challenge. I am up to $485 there. And here is the week in full. So there is no deco to put in. And since most of this stuff is either work stuff, which I cannot show you guys, or it's very, very personal and I don't want to like show you guys, but I still want to fill it in. I am actually not going to show you the spread all filled in, but I am going to show you the pen I'm going to fill it out with. This is a Pilot G207 in this gorgeous purple color. I'm going to just use one of these stickers and show you what it looks like. It works well on glossy paper, you just got to give it a second to dry. Um, and that's all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll do my best to link all of this down below and sorry these videos are going out later and later and that I've just been super behind but life life kind of happened to me um but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye